It is our job as comedians to walk the very fine line to say the things that everyone thinks but no one has the guts to say. And after 27 years, I will not be silenced, ladies and gentlemen. Simple as that, right? We've had enough. We've had enough. All right. So what was your name again? Surab. Surab. Right. Because <laughs> you represent all the Indians here, right? All of us here want to know one thing from our Indian friends. What do you guys need to talk about? Who are you guys talking to for the entire Uber trip? You know what I mean? First, you get in there, and at first you don't hear everything. After about two or three minutes, all you hear is, What are you doing? I'm listening to talking to somebody and my friends. What are you talking about? You think that people are talking and talking about you. Keep on talking and talking about you. But if you're talking to me, who are you talking to somebody else? I'm not always talking to you. He's talking to somebody who's talking about you. And you know, you first you feel rude. You go, was this guy talking to me? And then you have to confront him. You go, mate, are you talking to me? And listen to how smart the Indians are. He goes, I am not talking to you. I am helping an Optus customer. Folks, I want to finish up on some songs. And I dedicate these songs to all the young people uh, in the room tonight. And because your generation didn't cop the beatings that we copped. <laughs> and yours is a generation that needs to be beat up the most. <laughs> this is why I feel sorry for old people. Because in their day, it was very easy. There was no confusion. In their day, it was simple. In their day, it was just the birds and the bees. But today, there's the bees and the bees and the birds and the birds. Birds that want to be bees and bees that want to be birds. Bees that don't identify with being bees and birds that used to be bees but have still got a singer. This is my dad answering the phone. Hello? Who's the talking here? Just a minute, it's for you. Who is it? I don't know. What do you mean? I don't know. This is his phenomenal black bastard. He want to speak to you. What? That's what he says. No black bastard. He want to speak to you. You know who it was? Blockbuster. Everyone is racist. Okay. I'm not going to prove that to you here this evening. You know how? Because you've all come to a comedy show. And coming to a comedy show is like being hooked up to a polygraph machine. You know, like a lie detector thing. So when you agree with something, you laugh. Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot tell me that you have never done this. In fact, some of you may have done it on the way here this evening. You cannot tell me that when you're driving and some idiot cuts you off, you cannot tell me that you don't play that game in your head where you say, I bet you I can guess who the driver is. Look at your races! Every single one of you! A lot of people have feelings, and that's nice. Have your feelings, it's nice. Okay, but don't let feelings get in the way of fact. This is what's being confused, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, in the place today. Feelings and facts get confused, okay? It doesn't matter what you feel. If a badly decomposed body was found in 5, 10, 15, 20, 20,000 years from today, and they need to figure out who it was, doesn't matter what you identify with, doesn't matter what feelings you have, doesn't matter what operation you've had, when the DNA results come back, you're either XX or XY, you're a man or a woman. That's a fact. Now, listen, free world, right? <laughs> Free world. It's a free world. As an adult, do whatever you want to do. Knock yourself out. But if you want to come out and identify as a rainbow trout, <laughs> do it behind closed doors because you are confusing our children. That's what I'm going to say. Right. That's what I'm going to say. Right. You can agree with it. You don't have to agree with it. I don't care. Ethnics, we're not worried about stalkers, are we? We're not worried about internet trolls, are we? We're not worried about people. Because we grew up with trolls ourselves. <laughs> 
Do you remember that great auntie that you would only see every once, twice a year at a wedding and she would troll you right in front of your face? Oh, geez, you put her, you get a fat. Oh, yeah, you're still single. Why are you single? When are you going to get married? I don't know. When are you going to break your hip? I don't know. But the other day, I was in the city. I don't know if you... And seven different protests going on at the same. Seven, everything just blended into one. All I heard was bits and pieces from each one. All I heard was Aboriginals have the rights for equal pay, for non-binary and carbon neutral bike lanes to help save the gay whales. What the hell's going on? But I feel sorry for the young people, for the teenagers. I feel sorry because kids today have things to worry about that we never had. Things like peanut allergies. We never had that. Did you ever know an ethnic with a peanut allergy? No. If we did, every second kid would drop dead every time we go for a visit. That's the first thing they give us when we walk through the door. Even if you say, oh no, my son's anaphylactic. That's all right, give him a pocket peanut to fix it up. Here's another thing we never had, bipolar. We never knew anyone who was bipolar. Imagine saying that to you, oh, I'm bipolar. No, no, we can't afford that, no, no. <laughs> no, mum, I am bipolar. What's a mean of bipolar? It means I've got two personalities. Oh yeah, then both of you go clean your room. <laughs> These are modern day disease. Here's another thing that we never had, Mateo, when I was your age, ADHD. We didn't have that. You were just the idiot, remember? <laughs> you were just a nutcase in class. Can you imagine parent teacher and I, the teacher, oh, Mr. Avati, we believe that Giuseppe has ADHD. No, 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 he not like rock music. <laughs> <laughs> no, he has ADHD. What's it mean, ADHD? What's it? He means he can't focus. Oh, yeah? Boom! <laughs> now he's gonna focus, no what? And then we get to high school, right? We get to high school, and I'm looking at my subjects, and there's English, maths, and biology. And I have a look, and I go, hey, miss, I think you made a mistake. <laughs> what do you mean I've got to do home economics? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm Italian. <laughs> we don't do home economics. <laughs> Why not? Because my mum does it for me. <laughs> That's right. It was fun. You know, see, when we were young, we were never, like, we were never really scared of my mum, you know, because, see, mom, our mum never hit us. Mum would always use mental torture, right? Which is worse, because mental torture lasts a lifetime. Because I wish you got a smack. You get a smack, bang, it hurts, it goes red, you learn your lesson, you cry, you move on. No, mental torture lasts a lifetime. Because I had one of those, you know those mums that egg you on? No, no, keep her going. <laughs> hit your brother again, harder. Because when your father get home, he's going to kill you. <laughs> and I'm not going to stop him. <laughs> Do you remember that all day you knew you were going to die? You knew that as soon as 5.30 comes, there's no judge, there's no jury. Your old man steps one foot in the door and your mum's going to go, there's your son, it's bad, the boy, go kill him and there. <laughs> so not only are you waiting all day, now your dad comes home and what does he say? Go in the room and wait for me, I'm going to smack you in there. It's like you're on death row. Now you've got to go to another chamber and you've got to wait and you're looking around and the only thing you can see is a line of belts hanging up. <laughs> and they're talking to you. You're going to cop it, pal. <laughs> no, and you don't want to die, do you? So no, you don't want this to happen, so you've got to make it up to your mum, don't you? When she says your father's going to get home, he's going to kill you. You've got to, you don't know, you can't have this, Natalia. Do you understand? You don't want to die. So you've got to start cooking, cleaning, ironing, washing, mowing the lawn, praying, doing things you've never done in your life just to make it up to your mum. <laughs> and when you finished, what does she say? <laughs> you think I forget. <laughs> you know what, I'm sick and tired of people, I wanna be included, I gotta be included, we gotta be inclusive, we gotta be inclusive. Let's not forget something that where we've come from, ladies and gentlemen, right? I am the son and I'm the grandson of immigrants. My parents and grandparents came to this country not knowing the language, not knowing where they were gonna work, and they did it for us, for our children and the grandchildren, unborn great-grandchildren, and they didn't complain. They had for racism, they copped all sorts of shit. They didn't care. You know what? They just got on with it, right? Get on with it and get on with it. Right? I am sick and tired of it. We don't care. We don't care. We don't care that we're not included in anything. Have you ever seen uh, an, Have you ever seen an ethnic on uh, on the Flintstones? No. <laughs> no, there's no one in there. There's no Asians in the future. 
Oh, have you ever seen an Italian on Gilligan's Island? No. And if there was an Italian on Gilligan's Island, there would be no Gilligan's Island because the first thing my dad would have done was fix the hole in the boat. <laughs> There's the professor trying to impress everyone, making a radio out of two coconuts and a banana leaf just so he can impress Ginger. Put the stuff down and fix the hole in the boat, you idiot. But a friend of mine has got this butcher shop, right, and he's very sort of famous for his butcher shop, but, but he had this Muslim guy ring him up, right, and he, he rang him up, and, and this guy's very good at making his own small goods, but he had a Muslim guy ring him up, he goes, uh, is your meat halal? <laughs> <laughs> and I was there, I swear to God. He goes, eh, <laughs> eh, the beef and the chicken, not, but the pork, yes. <laughs> You know, political correctness has gone out of control. Would you agree, ladies and gentlemen? We're sick and tired of it. We wanted to come back. You know what? You know what annoys me? The other day uh, in January, certain councils refused to conduct citizenship ceremonies on Australia Day on the 26th of January so we don't offend our Indigenous people. How about we just respect our fellow human beings? That's what it should be about. Kids cannot sing Ba Ba Black Sheep anymore. Do you know that? They have to sing Ba Ba Rainbow Sheep. Do you know that? <laughs> My point is this, what next, ladies and gentlemen? Where is this going next? What happened? So we don't offend the refugees, we're going to have to stop singing row, row, row your boat? Is that what's...